We have made it. We're finally here. We finally made it to our hotel, but we can't check in till 2. So we've been walking around looking at everything. It is so beautiful. But look at the history. Look at the culture. Look at the sky, everybody. it to our hotel. <laughs> Room tour. You come in. This is the door. This is our bathroom here. And then here we have our bed. And then here we have a nice little view. Wow. Now we sleep. Bye. finished dinner we met this lovely couple that we sat next to I think the whole dinner we might as well have just put our tables together actually though <laughs> they were so nice very nice and food was freaking crazy this is why we came to the Rome. food was really good so now we're gonna go get some gelato gelato very famous place good morning good morning buongiorno Day two in Rome. Whoa! What is this ball? <laughs> We're gonna go find some breakfast and then we have a tour today at the Vatican. Very exciting stuff. Bye! our tour we ended up back at the same place we were yesterday we were able to tour with like like two pairs of grandma and grandpas and they were so cute and so nice and just good vibes you know i felt really bad that i was complaining about my back in front of them but my back is killing me in mind one of the grandpas had a cane i know a bad knee <laughs> and i'm over here like oh my back <laughs> Beautiful. Oh god. Oh no. We're finally out of the house. So we're getting some tiramisu at a place called Mr. 100 Tiramisu. Wow. <laughs> so good. Holy moly. We're at the Pantheon! Amazing! The moment I saw this, I got chills. Alright, we're here for our uh, Coliseum tour. We got in a fight. <laughs> Sometimes? Sometimes it just um, it just happens. It just happens, but you just pull with punches, process it well, and then you make up before you have a three-hour tour together. <laughs> We just ended our tour. Our tour guide was 
Very nice, very informative, amazing vibes. Right now, we have to actually look for, well, two things. One, we gotta go eat something. And then two, we gotta go near the area of the shopping, right? Yeah, we're probably gonna try to take a taxi or something, right? Yeah. Wow, look at these clowns. Okay, everyone, so we came back home. We walked like 20,000 steps today, which is around eight miles. From our hotel to the Colosseum, it's about like a 25 minute walk. It was another 20 minute walk to get to the shopping area. And then from the shopping area, it took another 20 minutes to get home. So we did a lot of walking, but it was good, good exercise. Because we were so tired, we decided to just Uber eat some McDonald's. I also need it in our hotel because this is our last night in Rome. So we're just gonna pack, relax, and then get ready to leave for Florence tomorrow on a train, so. It's here! Okay, McDonald's haul. <laughs> Everybody. Yes. Give us a yes. haul. We know, we know McDonald's in Italy. Yes. We did the best we can. Um, we did the best we can. First up, we have the six piece McNugget. Mm -hmm. We have some salsa barbecue, Italian. Oh. Ketchup. Oh. And another salsa barbecue. Oh. One Big Mac. Bacon Big Mac. Bacon? Two Bacon Big Mac. Ooh. And wow, look at that. One Sprite, one Coke, zero. Let's freaking go. Today is our last official day in Rome. We just checked out of our hotel. This is the cute little lobby. Now we need to kill some time before we head to the train station. Also, look at these views. Beautiful. Last day in Roma. I almost stunted poop. Last day in Roma. <laughs> <laughs> We could. Look at, look at the size of this. <laughs> Where it progresses into something greater. Okay, see you at home. Bye. Bye. Officially day two in Florence. Yesterday was a little rough because Jay wasn't feeling so well. So we came home and just rested. Here's a view of our outside though. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know if in Rome we weren't looking properly, but I felt like the only thing that was available was pasta and pizza, but here it seems like there's a lot more options. So we're very excited before we go to Switzerland. Yeah, also they have a lot of uh, little markets that have some Asian food, so. It's Jay's dream. Um, He's very happy. I was just gonna say, also there's a place that sells a Mexican burrito. I'm like super stoked about. Wait, comes um, to Florence and eats Mexican our, burrito. We're pretty stoked to try out the, the food history. But also that Mexican burrito sounds pretty damn fire right now. <laughs> the realities of travel. The plan is we drop this laundry off, go to Central Market. We have to pick up toothpaste. There's a lot of things we actually did not pack for this trip. 
like clothes for Switzerland. Yeah, Grace might freeze to death, but um. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> Can I tell you guys a story? This elevator that we're in, it opens two ways, okay? Yesterday, this man, the door <laughs> opened, but he was facing like this. <laughs> and we were funny. dying. We just dropped off our laundry. Jay lugged laundry around for like 20 minutes in the streets of Florence. We just dropped it off and now we are gonna go to the central market and take a look and see what is around. So Jay's not feeling so well, so we came back to the hotel, dropped our stuff off, and now we're gonna be cooking some lamyon. We're prepping all the ingredients for him so he can eat, and hopefully this will kind of cure his soul, so. Mm. Now we're gonna do the second one, which is udon. Wow, wow, the broth is incredible. Whoa, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Good, you want to try noodle? Mm. All right, day three of five in Florence. Who knew that it was gonna be this cold right now? It is freaking freezing, but it's not, it's getting better because the sun's coming up. Yeah. So. so we're on our way to go get some breakfast before our tour. These tours are really great, but they're really long. <laughs> Trust me, this is a great angle. This is nostril cam. And then you also do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> this kind of, the aerial <laughs> Here, this is it. <laughs> you ready? Look up. Damn. You see one of these. <laughs> I know we're in Florence, but let me tell you some facts about the Colosseum. Fact number one. Did you know that the Colosseum was built in eight years? Eight years. Number two. Did you know if you ever go to the Colosseum, you'll see a bunch of holes in the walls. There was a time when there was a very low supply in Rome of all different types of materials like metals and bronze and etc. So people would come to the Colosseum and actually dig holes and take out the metal beams that were holding the outside walls together. They would legit come in with their little tools, you know, just a normal day, come to the Colosseum and freaking dig out the metal beams so that they can use it because they had such low supply of materials. So that's why if you ever go to Colosseum, you see a bunch of holes, that's the reason behind that. But another thing that was really interesting was anybody could come. Basically, if you're a slave or if you're super rich, you can come to and watch these games. And they would give you free food. So if you think about it, back in the days, everybody wanted to come because number one, you get a show, and number two, you get free food, especially if you're poor. It was all about Roman propaganda. So what they would do was they would essentially increase the taxes for the people and use the Colosseum as a way to say like, hey, we as the government love and care for you people. But what they don't understand is that it's basically a huge distraction for them to actually realize that they're getting gypped because they have to pay more taxes in right. the long run. So I thought that was really interesting. Like the whole purpose of the Colosseum was actually a huge propaganda. There's yeah. so many things. Overall point is, it was a great tour. I think it was one of my favorite tours that we went on. Please check it out. I hope that was somewhat interesting to everybody. Anyways, now to our next tour.
We just met this guy. He was like, oh, where are you guys from? We're like, oh, California. I was like, oh, me too. And then I, somehow we ended up talking about work. I was like, what do you do for work? He's like, oh, I'm a CEO of an environmental technology company. We were like, oh, <laughs> that's amazing. He's like, yeah, we work with like Fortune 500 companies, like things like that. And we're like, and then he asked us what we, where we're from and what school we're from. And we're like, we're from UCLA and UCI. <laughs> Basically, he thought we were a little kid. <laughs> you know everyone here though, they think we're like, I think they think we're maybe like 24. It kind of makes sense though, I mean, we, we, we We're like kind of the, look a little younger. We're like the youngest people on these tours. They're all like way older than us. Look at our cute, freaking cute little tour guide. Her we, name's Rosa. We have the cutest tour guide. She's so cute. <laughs> This grandma, I think she has a crush on Jay. She like searches for Jay and then makes eye contact with him and there's like a bunch of people but she's only looking directly at Jay. It's so funny. It's like in the crowd of people, she's like looking to see where Jay is. She came in and was like, Bonjour! <laughs> then when we started uh, moving from the line. Okay. I was like, we hallelujah. <laughs> Postcard Turkan gave us. Turn it over. Rosa gave it to us. But you know, Jay and I thought that she gave one to everybody in our tour group. But then we realized she only gave it to us. And I'm telling you, I think it's because of Jay. So. Grazie mille. <laughs> Buona sera. <laughs> Today, tonight is a great night because number one, we have right in front of us in our hotel room. <laughs> this is a sandwich I've been waiting to try. Like this, this was the one thing I was waiting for. I'm surprised they did delivery. And we got it through freaking delivery. And so Grace was knocked out. Uh, I think she might have some of the symptoms that I had the previous day. We're hoping that it's not the case. Here we are in our hotel room and we get to try it the most anticipated sandwich that I've had this entire trip with a bottle of wine that we picked up from the farmer's market. So we're pretty stoked. Mm. Wow. Good morning, welcome to day four of five of Florence. AKA the last day of Florence because tomorrow we're gonna be riding the train out early in the morning. So we're gonna be doing a little bike tour uh, around the countryside, a little bit through Florence, and then uh, follow it up with a little bit of shopping. How do you feel, Grace? Yeah, good. Grace is over there on the floor. You can't even see her. See you there. <laughs>
are finally home. Today's our last night in Florence, so we're not staying in, even if we want to. We did some shopping, so maybe I'll show you guys what I got. Number one, I got this cute turtleneck t-shirt. I thought it was really cute. I thought you can pair it with a lot of different pants and make it look like elegant and sophisticated. So this other thing I got was this long, of collared shirt. I thought the color was really pretty and the material is so soft and very thin and light and so hopefully this will withhold test of time but I thought this was really cute and I thought this would be cute to pair with like a trench coat or some jeans so I also got that. I got a white sweater. Why? Because number one it was $12. Number two I desperately needed some type of sweater because my dumb butt did not bring any type of warm clothes. <laughs> but not least, I got these pants which I thought were super cute. They are pants that I probably look like I already have but I thought they were really cute because they're kind of wide-legged here at the bottom. Those are the four items that I got. Anyways, that's everything that we got so we're gonna freshen up and we'll see you guys in a little. Oh, perfect. Thank you, thank you. You got the torque. Don't do that. Hey, welcome to the next episode of Food Fighters. Uh, today's Trattoria Zaza edition. Progress. Okay. Alright, so far. <laughs> so far, doing very well. Um, I want to throw up. What you see here is only like two thirds of it. We have more place stacked underneath with this spaghetti. But let me take them through the uh, strategy. For one, is getting this because this thing is massive. It was like a huge freaking iceberg lettuce. Two, throw some stew and stuff like that there. I tried to finish that. We did. And there's hella plates stacked underneath. My last day in Florence. Last day. Heading off to Swiss right now, so we will see you guys on the train. We had no time to vlog on the train because there were so many people there, but we are trying to make it to our hotel and it has been a struggle. It has been a struggle bus I up mean, here. We told each other before we started that it's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be a journey. We almost got on the wrong train. We almost missed our train. We had to full on run, like sprint to get to our train. And then now we have to take this train and then one more train and then a taxi to get to our hotel. So it's been a struggle, but it's been good. We're been high spirits, right? Mm -hmm. We still not yet to our hotel, but we made it to our last stop. Now we wait with all our luggage here. Cute! It's so pretty here. I wish you guys could see what we see in terms of the mountainscape. You'll probably see it once we get up there. It's Christmas vibes. Legit. Imagine you are in Harry Potter land. Is that an insult to Switzerland? <laughs> <laughs> wow! We finally wow. made it to our hotel. We upgraded our room. I don't know what the other room looked like, but this is our little bathroom. But this is our terrace view. But it's freaking amazing. Wow. This is it. I mean, we started traveling at nine o'clock. Nine? Yeah. And then it is currently 4.20. And we finally made it to the hotel. First off, amazing, amazing facility. So we got a free upgrade to have this terrace. And they even gave us some binoculars. So you can see the lake, which is over yonder in that fog. 
How's it going? We finished our first course. It was soup and hummus. And it was very cute. Off the way that they laid out the hummus and spread. Pretty good. We are ready to go outside and explore Switzerland. There's this Korean couple outside. They are well prepared. They brought a tripod. They have matching outfits. It's a vibe. And here we are. We have matching vibes. I guess we're matching kind of too. Black. Black on like our Like our soul. <laughs> Jay and I have been taking the same shot photos for the past like two hours. <laughs> We're gonna walk around a little and then take some more photos of the same mountain on a different angle. <gasps> like this one. <laughs> okay. We made it 10 feet. Yeah. Oh, it feels amazing. This is exactly what we were looking for. So fresh. But where's the cows? You hear them. Well, actually, if you stay quiet, you hear them. Oh. Yesterday, it was so foggy. We couldn't see a single thing. Mm -hmm. It was so foggy. Like, even Jay was hard to see. But now, thankfully, today, it's cleared up a lot. So you can see over here, this is Lake... Lucerne right there. Take it in everybody. And, and there's this amazing swimming pool. It is so amazing. It's heated. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. <laughs> Dang. I would if I was a cow, this is heaven. Until you're eaten. But you know, like I would love to die here. As a cow. As a cow. I hope they don't eat them. I don't think they eat them. I think I ate one of them last night. Because that Angus steak was... <laughs> Oof. So good. <laughs> no, don't say that. That's really mean. I want to be vegetarian. Will I? Hmm. <laughs> <It's a big laughs> cut, cut the scene of Grace <laughs> eating. <laughs> All the meat like, in the world. The <laughs> <laughs> we had the sun peeking through right there with with the rays. It was just like whoosh. and then the clouds just whoosh. put it back again. Everybody, our breakfast is here. Let me show you guys what it looks like, what we got. Here's our fantastic view. Okay, here we got some potatoes. Scrambled eggs, pancakes, granola, coffee, espresso, ham, smoked salmon, cornflakes, yogurt, orange juice, eggs benedict, 
bread, avocados, toast, omelet, some spreads, cheese and some salami, and some fruits. And we got some milk, hot milk here, cold milk. And I think that, is that hot chocolate? We don't have hot chocolate. Uh, that is oh, for the hot chocolate, hot chocolate, huh? Oh, yay. Okay. Switzerland. It is currently 7.18. We woke up today at 6 a.m. We got two sandwiches to eat on our journey. I have no idea what I ordered, but you know, we're gonna try it out. Which one do I to try? You know, that, this, looks this looks like, looks like fish. fish. Wanna try the fish one? We're gonna try the meat one first. Let's try the fish. There's chicken. There's chicken? Oh, also. Our taxi driver was the nicest man we've met here. He was the most cheerful Swiss, Swiss like guy. Literally five in the morning and he's like the nicest, happiest person. Also, can I tell you guys a story? There was this couple at a hotel. I think they snuck in to the pool. Like, I don't think they actually were at the hotel. Like, staying at the hotel. So legit, they were in the pool <laughs> from I think like 4 p.m. all the way to like 11 p.m. No. It's like they snuck into Disneyland. They were there for so long. We were like, they're still there. <laughs> Update. I hopped onto the wrong train. Where are we? We have no idea. Um, what time is our flight? 12. And what time is it now? Eight. Eight. We finally arrived to our next hotel, everybody. We made it to Buddy! Woo! Oh, this, this one's a little cleaner. Wow, check this out. Buddy! Before we do anything, let me just tell you guys what the poop happened, okay? In the morning, we woke up at 6 a.m. and then we were like, okay, we're gonna take a taxi from our hotel to the train station because it takes around two hours to get to the airport. Got to the train station, we were like eating our breakfast. We saw this train arrive and I guess it was just too early in the morning, we weren't thinking, so Jay decided to just jump onto that train. And then we realized, wait a minute, this train is going the opposite direction of where we're supposed to go. Long story short, we basically made it to the airport on time. So we got to the airport, it was around 10. We had our flight boarding time at 12.05 and our flight is gonna leave at 12.30. So we got there at 10, we did our bag check-in and then for some reason, we just didn't think that there was like a security. I don't know what we were thinking. I think we were a little out of it. So we thought we were done. So we started exploring the airport, checking out chocolates, looking at all these Swiss snacks. And then once it hit 1130, I was like, all right, Jay, let's go sit down near a terminal gate and let's just sit there and wait for our plane because we still have like an hour left. And then we follow the signs and then we realize that there is this huge, huge, like think about Space Mountain at Disneyland at peak day times three, okay? There's this huge line to get through security. And it's not even like you're at the end. At the end is security. It's like to even get into security, to get into the place where you have to actually like go through the scanner and get scanned. Anyways, 
me and Jay realized, oh my god, we have to get through this line. So then I was like, okay, there's no way in hell we're gonna make our plane if we wait in this line. I go to the front. I basically beg the guy, is there anything I can do in order to get to the front? My plane's gonna leave. The boarding time's at 12.05. It's like, kindly enough, he was like, you can try downstairs and see if the line is shorter because usually it is. So I was like, okay, thank you so much. We go, we are booking it. We go downstairs. Again, there's a long ass line, but it's not as long as the one upstairs. So I again, go to the front. I'm like basically begging these people. Like, I'm so sorry. Like I have a flight. It's going to be at 12.05. Like we really need to get in. Is there anything that you can do? Thankfully, those people in the front were like, okay, you can cut here, come in through this way. So we're able to get in. But keep in mind, we didn't even get through security yet. We're just in like a shorter line to the security. And Jay at this point, we're like freaking out because it is like 1140 and we're like, we're not gonna make this flight. You are freaking out. We are freaking out. Like if you can imagine, we're like, wow, we're gonna miss our flight. Our whole suitcases are freaking checked in. Like what are we gonna do about that? It hit 1205, okay? We get through security. Jay is done. He's waiting on the other side for me. Me on the other hand, I get pulled aside by this lady who decides to freaking check like everywhere on my body to make sure I'm not carrying any type of weapons or liquids. She was taking so long and Jay was just waiting for me. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but we have a plane to catch. Is there any way that you can go any faster? And she was just, she was like, mm, yeah, I'll be done soon. Finally, she was done. Now it's like 12, 10. And Jay and I are straight up sprinting sprinting everybody like it's not on light jog it's straight up we are running like our life depends on it jay has my backpack with the computer on his back his fanny pack a huge sweater and he's carrying you know, the laptop like this you know you know those memes the videos that just make fun of people at the airport that sprint and run we were them. And the thing is, our freaking terminal was not close by. It was like at the very end of the building. So long story short, we made it. We're here, hallelujah. Oh, what a trip. Good morning, today is Wednesday in Paris. We are about to go to uh, Giverny. Whoa. We're gonna go down, get some breakfast, complimentary, and then try to walk the streets and uh, pick up some stuff along the way and head to the train station. How many trains have we taken throughout this trip? We've taken a lot. Like, and probably over 10. This is ham and cheese sandwich. We got some ale, ketchup, sausage, and french fries. It's the randomest thing I've seen, but it's really good. There was this um, Lady. grandma and grandpa, which, <coughs> now that I think of it, they got a lot more. Mm hmm. What the hell? Theirs was stacked. Theirs was like, there was a reason why the grandma's sausages fell to the floor. Because it was toppling down the mountain of fries. Where's our mountain of fries? It's a valley. This is a valley of fries. We made it to the Arc de Triomphe. And now you cannot see it, but we also saw the Eiffel Tower light up. So that was amazing. 
and then directly we be in front of me we have the Louvre Museum which hosts the Mona Lisa It's the Louvre! The Louvre. It's so beautiful. This place is pretty nice. I mean it's very vibey. So vibey. See it? <gasps> 